When we talk about host-seeking behavior and bed bugs in relation to Sensei Active and Sensei Volcano, it's important to understand exactly how bed bugs host seek. And they use carbon dioxide, chemicals on the surface of our skin, and heat to find their host. And we know from research that carbon dioxide plays probably the most significant role in that picture in regards to attracting bed bugs from long distances. And when we talk about Sensei Active, Active is actually mimicking chemicals on the surface of the skin. And so it's just one part of the scent picture. And when I talk about Active, the analogy I try to use is imagine a sweaty shirt. That's really what active is. If you, you know, sweat inside your shirt, it's got the chemicals on the surface of your skin. Another analogy is a suitcase. Um, you know, it's largely thought that bed bugs are attracted to suitcases because they have your clothes inside them, and therefore that suitcase smells like you. And so that's kind of the way you want to set the framework when it comes to bed bugs and host seeking and what role does active play in that picture. Now when we talk about volcano, which I have here, and we talk about the behavior of trying to find a host, bed bugs and their host seeking search or pattern is not direct like most people think. Most people think if I have a food source here and there's a bed bug here, that the bed bug is just going to walk a straight line over to that food source. That's actually not how host seeking behavior works. It's actually a relatively random pattern. Yes, they are following cues such as chemicals on the surface of the skin or carbon dioxide, but the pattern with which they do that can sometimes be very, very random. And a lot of times they want to orient to edges and seams. And so when we talk about the hotel room that I'm in, you know, if you look at where the suitcase is put down and then you follow the path that a bed bug may follow to the bed, a lot of times they'll come off that suitcase and try to find a baseboard or try to find another seam or edge to walk along as they then use to gain access to that bed. And so when we talk about placement of the volcano or the active volcano, putting it along seams and edges where bed bugs are predicted to travel to get to the bed is extremely important when we compare that to the biology and behavior of that insect.